guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin yamoshi along with jesse and both kings of the all had landed on the planet of the supremes in which in the same way the beings of the kingdom of the all along with the warriors of universe 7 were in that place gathered but if it's a kumo are they coming to finish us off Father, it looks like they're coming from a big battle, as he has wounds all over his body. Damn it! We left Kakarot with that crazy woman. She had no chance at all. But if you are Daishenken, the son of Daikusama, my first priest. But if you are the queen of all the original, to what do I owe this pleasure? But why is she accompanied by that Saiyan? I don't know why Yamoshi has done in his past, but it's not time. A very old seal has been broken by breaking the seal of these Saiyans. What does Mayuki-sama mean by all that? The seal that you destroyed with the death of Zeno-sama has been linked to another seal from millions of years ago, and by breaking the seal, that seal has likewise disintegrated. It's a bit confusing, but I've understood. I'm glad to know that, as we will need all the power we have available, as we will be facing a being that even surpasses my own. With all the respect you deserve, how do you want us to deal with the power that even surpasses you? I'm able to observe everything that has happened, and I can notice how you and your god have raised their power in a great way with that slight training. Well, Mayuki means that we know that you can overcome your limits. We know that you're able to overcome the power that you possess. Trust in yourselves. That's right. I'm counting on you, and Daishenken, I have great confidence in you since Daikusama always talked wonders about his firstborn. Rest assured that I'll not disappoint you, my lady. I'll do everything to exceed your expectations and become much more powerful. I'll train together with Daishenken and all the other angels. Okay, I will help the guy named Beerus and the warriors that are found all over his universe. What has happened to all the other universes? As far as I can tell, the liberated Saiyans have destroyed everything in their path, with the exception of Universe 7 being the ancient home of Kakarot. I'll train on my own, since I seem to have plenty in this place. Of course not! I know that you're being that even surpasses the power of Zeno-sama, but I'm able to release all your hidden power. I appreciate your help, and I'll do whatever you ask since our future and everything created depends on this battle. Meanwhile, with Kefura, she is already completely regenerated, being able to stand up, but she was still very confused because when she met Kakarot, he also called her Kefura. Kefura, when he was about to leave, a Saiyan with fur all over his body would arrive on the battlefield. My lady, what's happened to you? And who is that damn copy of Kakarot, Sama? Damn, now I understand everything. This is not a copy of Kakarot. We have traveled to the past. This is the Kakarot of this time. What did my lady say? That's impossible! Gogeta, hold Kakarot, and let's go immediately! Both warriors left where Kakarot was, but at the moment of arrival, the silver hair of a being very similar to Goku could be observed. But his essence radiated absolute evil. That's right, the power that this Kakarot possessed, that absolute evil. Gogeta, what the hell are you doing holding a trash? My Kakarot, the trash you mean? You're yourself, but... From the past, I don't know what has happened. We have gone back in time. No, Kifura. We haven't gone back in time because we, being able to break space-time, and that seal being destroyed have fallen into this timeline. Kakarot would move closer to Goku. How pathetic you are. And that kind heart? Of course I recognize it's me. Goku, with a big jump, would take a little distance and release all that power he had collected in the course of the trip. So this guy is a counterpart of me. But if I leave him alive, I know he'll end up with everything I want and love, so I can't leave him alive. You're trash. If you promise to be my slave, I promise to not end your life. In case you refuse, I'll make you suffer as you have not the slightest idea. Goku, without caring about Kakarot's words, he would accede to the Forbidden Ultra Instinct, with which he launched himself against Kakarot with all his power. Gogeta was about to intervene, be it being stopped by Kifura. Don't worry, Kakarot. He wants to check the power that that counterpart of himself possesses. Goku, with his maximum power, threw millions of blows that even for Daishinken, it would be impossible to dodge all of them. But for Kakarot, it was simple child's play. 
That's right, Kakarot's power was so great that Goku's speed seemed that of a simple child. Kakarot, with his simple movement, was able to send Goku flying with a hundred of wound all over his body. Hell, I plan to hit him with all my might! I won't let him make fun of me! Goku would activate the KO Ken increase to 500 times, with which his bones were broken. That's right, but he was able to connect a powerful blow which sent Kakarot flying to a part of the universe observing how he had destroyed that planet with a simple impact. Miserable. You don't know how many millions of years have passed for a guy to be able to beat me. Now I'll torture you. Kakarot, with his great power, was able to create several strands of energy of a red color, with which he was able to neutralize Goku and tie hundreds of energy chains to his body, which caused an immense power to Goku. You better kill me, because when I'm able to free myself, rest assured, then I'll end your miserable life. <laughs> You'll never be able to free yourself from this eternal torture, so you better get used to all this pain. Goku's screams could be heard all over that space. That's right, Goku was being tortured in an incredible way. Meanwhile, in the 12 universes, Yamoshi, along with all the angels, started with a rigorous training. Being that we will face, it surprises everything we know. I ask for an apology for everything I did in the tournament, and to you, priest. An apology for everything that happened hundreds of years ago. It's amazing that a being like you, who's arrogant, apologizes. Apparently the warrior that we're going to face is really powerful. That's right, since his power is able to eliminate us with only one of his fingers, we'll have to raise all our power. My other brothers and I have decided to merge. They will all join my body and when this warrior is over, we will return to normal. Excellent. That I imagine that will increase their power in a way never seen before. A great pentagram would be formed in which all the angels began to join the body of Whis, which at the moment would expel a gigantic power, with which he was able to bring Daishenkin to his knees, which left Yamoshi very surprised by the brutal increase in power. It's amazing how the fusion of all the angels has created a powerful warrior. No, Yamoshi, as I explained before, they have joined me. I still keep my body. No, no, I can't breathe. How is it possible that the pressure of all the angels together are able to completely bend me? Wiz would decrease his pressure considerably so that the great priest was able to move freely. However, it was not so simple for him. Father, that's all I can decrease my pressure since I'm not used to this power. I cannot decrease it anymore. This workout will be hell. I won't be able to do anything. I feel like even though I don't have so much pressure on me, my bodies are fracturing. It's better to train under pressure, since all Cuerpos have the uh, gift of adaption. I know you'll not die, Daishinkin. I trust you. Meanwhile, with all the Royal Mayuki and Bellion, both all kings were equally having a great workout along with Beerus, Gohan, Vegeta, and Piccolo. Hey Saiyans, don't you think it's better to integrate those two Saiyans to the training? No, of course not. Although the blood of the warrior race runs through their body, they're simple children. The multiverse has changed so much, since as a child I had to face much more powerful beings to be able to survive. Mayuki-sama, one question. Don't you know where my father is? I know where Kakarot has it died. I can still feel it. I trust them. I understand how you must feel, Jesse, but it's something practically impossible, since the power of that Saiyan even surpassed me, the first queen at all. Mayuki, you possess an eye similar to mine. Try to feel the visual interference. With the power of Kakrod, even I'm able to feel it. Mayuki, without any hope, would try what Jesse had told her, but to her surprise, was able to feel Goku's presence and even feel a little of his pain, because at that moment, he vomited a little blood. What happened? Are you feeling all right? Jesse, you're right. Kakrod is still alive, but he's being tortured. I don't know how he's able to endure so much since I was only able to feel slightly of what to do with him. A warrior named Goku is incredible, since even Mayuki was said to possess the most resistant body of all the multiverses. That's right, the resistance that Goku possesses is incredible. Kakarot, don't go and die. Bear up! You're one of the most powerful warriors, so I trust you, insect. Returning to the place where all the other Saiyans were, we could observe Goku very badly injured while incredible amounts of blood were coming out of his body. You really are amazing, but I don't have to be impressed since you're like me, and I wouldn't never give up. I hope you enjoy every torture you're giving me, because very soon all this will be alive. Ha ha ha, you dare to threaten me? 
Do you want me to kill you in front of your loved ones? If you do that, rest assured that your death will be a gift, since I'll never finish with you. I'll torture you a thousand times more aggressive than this. That's interesting. Well, I'm curious. We've already given several months for them to prepare, so it's time. My lord, do you want me to open the dimension? That's right, Gogeta. It's time to enter the 12 universes. When we get there, I want the first universe they blow up to be Universe 7. I don't want them to leave any worms alive. Gogeta, with a large part of her power, was able to open the portal through which everyone would come out. At the moment of arrival, all the planets of the 12 universes began to tremble with an incredible power, so much so that even some of them even exploded. So Hanna decided to come out of that dimension because we have become very powerful in the same way. Jesse, without waiting a second more, would quickly head towards where they were releasing that incredible power. Yoshi would try to stop her, but it was impossible for him, since the Supreme was releasing a large part of his hidden power. Hell, apparently I won't be able to release all my hidden potential. Don't worry, Yamoshi, everyone else will go. So focus on releasing all the power, as you will be of great use. All the warriors at incredible speeds were coming to the center of the 12 universes. Jesse, when she arrived, was able to observe Goku in terrible condition. I swear I'll kill you! It doesn't matter that I'll have to die! I see you have several beings that are approaching. Don't worry, I'll let those garbage arrive to exterminate them in one attack. Kakarot would wait patiently while everyone else arrived at the battlefield. But the moment of Wiss arrival, a gigantic power was perceived in all universes. So long, no see, Wiss. I see you've been able to push your limits like an angel. I know you're not the Goku I train, so you better be prepared to die. That hurts, Wiss. Very soon you'll know the truth. Gogeta, let's start the attack. As my lady orders, today we'll annihilate the divine world. And that's how both sides began to raise their power to the maximum, with which everyone was destroyed. The supreme planet was about to be destroyed, but Beerus would stand in front of the planet. I'll protect this planet. Release the power of Yamoshi. Beerus would expel a large part of his power, with which he was able to withstand that great expansion of energy. The mighty Beerus was even willing to give his life so that Yamoshi would be able to unlock all his hidden power. Flashback. I don't trust you. You tried to destroy all of us, but now you want to collaborate? If you have to die, I'll let you die. You are right. I wanted to end the whole Divine Kingdom for a revenge which made no sense. And I understand, but I'll give my life for you. And flashback. Which stupid man has not kept his word? And I intend to keep mine. I'll give my life for the world which I wanted to destroy. Yamoshi, the explosion that occurred a few minutes ago was of a tremendous size. I don't think I will endure another one of that magnitude. How long do you need? Resist, Beerus. There's not much time left. Please bear. But from all the distant universe, a second explosion could be observed. That's right, Kakarot on this occasion would try to destroy all the 12 universes without any exception. This would be a dignified death, dying so that a Saiyan's able to protect everything existing. I'll be remembered as a legend. Beerus would expel all his power to contain the explosion as long as possible, but he was consumed in a matter of seconds. But as the explosion was about to reach him, Yamoshi would stand in front of Beerus, spreading all the explosion of both. I told you I'd give my life for every being in this world. Stupid. My life's worth nothing. You have to release all your hidden power. How do you think I was able to evade all that explosion? Beerus, powerful and respected god, would you give me the honor to fight by my side? <laughs> I hope you're able to keep up with me. Yamoshi would help to recover each of the energies of Beerus. At the moment, both warriors would quickly go to the battlefield, observing a being similar to Goku on a throne, observing everything while two Saiyans were able to humiliate all the other warriors. Even Whis and Daishank and the most powerful warriors seemed to be humiliated. Yamoshi, furious, would raise his power to the maximum, which would catch Gogeta's attention, quickly granting a blow to Vegeta and Gohan, coming to exchange blows with Yamoshi. So you're the most powerful than of the other Saiyans, so I want to face you. While Kefora, he was able to face all the other warriors without any difficulty. But Goku, where is he? Since I understand that that warrior who's sitting on that throne's Kakarot. 
That man is able to steal Goku in order to have a very old seal, and he swallowed it. <laughs> I know what they think, that my counterpart's their only salvation, and I partly believe it, and I'm not going to take any risks whatsoever. Mr. Beerus, we must free Mr. Goku from that seal, because if he's able to take the Forbidden Ultra Instinct to a higher level, I know that he could do something against these guys. But how will we know that, Wiss? We need an overwhelming force. That's right, but... At along that moment, Daishaka would communicate with both of them mentally, as Daishaka along with Gohan and Vegeta were facing Kifura. I plan to be the hook. Channel all your power in my right fist. I have Thinker to give my life so that Son Goku is able to return to the fight. But, and the two entirely original kings. One of them left in search for some situation to free Mr. Goku, while Mayuki is on the planet over there in very bad condition. Hell, we have no choice, but let's do it! Beerus, along with Whis, began to channel all their power, and the fist of Daishaken, which, feeling as his body was becoming much slower due to the excess of power, with a powerful blow was able to send Kefura flying by catching her off guard. Zero point! Said technique was able to make Daishaken invisible for about 10 milliseconds, and it was enough time for a being with the speed of Daishaken. When the technique was cut, everyone was able to observe how Daishaken was brutally dismembered by Kakarot, which had great suffering. I don't know how you've been able to grant me a hit, but you'll pay with it for your life. But at that moment, a gigantic power would be released in front of Kakarot, saving Daishaken. That's right, the snatched plan of the deities had turned out. Damn you! I'm not going to leave you alive! And after you destroyed my entire universe, why did you do it? Aren't you a version of me? Do you really want to know? Okay, I'll tell you about it. Millions of years ago, Goku, in the same way, won the Tournament of Power, reaching the Ultra Instinct. I revived all the universes, but those damned ones, they sought to betray me. They preferred to end my life. The damn god Belmount from Universe 11 had my whole family, so I decided to leave. But at the moment, I was attacked by my own children. While I fell to the ground, everyone mocked me. Kefura from Universe 13 tried to save myself, but in the same way, I fell on the battlefield. If I gave the perfect opportunity to run away since then, I was able to become so powerful that the next time I had them in front of me, I ended up with my whole family, my whole universe, and I was ending universe after universe until I destroyed Daishenken's Mandito. But the king of the whole of that timeline was able to seal me and my other sane warriors. Now I understand. When Goku asked for Xenosama to be eliminated in a twin timeline, your seal was also broken. That's why I plan to end each and every one of those bastards. Better you, Goku, join me. Because in very short time, these people you protect today will turn their backs on you. Jesse would put her hand on Goku's shoulder. Goku... We would never turn our back on you. I'm not asking you to trust us, but we trust you, and you have all our loyalty. Damn insect you are, and will be my biggest rival, just like my best friend. It's a pity what happened to you, but that's not why you had to destroy more timelines which had no business. Although sometimes I disagree with Kakarot's action, I'll always be on his side. My lord, you have given me new opportunity. I was betrayed in the same way, to my being being able to be so great, but you rescued me. In that case, on the attack, I'll take care of my annoying counterpart. Everyone threw themselves against each other. That's right, everything seemed to be like a pitched battle. The kings of all surrounded and also joined the battle. But Kefura, by taking the battle much more seriously, would access the Ultra Instinct, leaving everyone surprised by the power he was able to release. Kefura, with a single blow, was able to end Gohan's life, while Vegeta was able to be on the verge of death because Gohan had sacrificed himself for Vegeta. Damn, Gohan. I told you to stay out of it. I swear. I swear I'll avenge Gohan. Furious Vegeta launched himself against Kefura, but he was not able to do anything before that powerful Saiyan. Vegeta would be brutally beaten, falling to a rock that was in space. Kefura! Me being the first queen of all, I want you to face me. I swear I'll give all my power and my soul to end your existence. Do you want to end my existence for the simple fact that I do not agree with your follow-up? Of course not, and from what I've heard, you committed the crime of traveling between different timelines. I can't afford that. 
I will exterminate you! I want you to try, damn it. Both women began to give an incredible battle, which it was very incredible. The rumor was that the shoulder was much more powerful than not apply to both women, which with that each of their fists even cracked the same dimension. Goku and Kakarot would stare at each other. I have to push my body to the limit one more time! Goku would access his transformation again, which went far beyond the forbidden Ultra Instinct. That's right, his hair would turn a green color again, while Kakarot would access the Ultra Instinct, both beginning to clash their fists. But the difference of powers was clear, since Kakarot was able to dominate every exchange of blows, while Goku spat blood of excess. I'm ready! I want to get my body used to the pain! Now! Goku was able to access the Ultra Instinct in the same way, but the power was emanated was much greater than normal. But to this, Goku would do something crazy. Body resists the power of a Saiyan! Kaioken increased a thousand times! Goku, when activating the technique, several of his bones would completely break, and despite all the pain he felt without caring, he threw himself in front of Kakarot, who was only able to see something coming towards him, trying to cover up, but when Goku's fist hit his forearm, Goku's fist had destroyed Kakarot's entire arm. Being sent flying millions of kilometers, Gogeta, watching as his king was hit in such a way, increased his power to the limit by putting himself in front of Goku trying to stop him. But Goku, wasting no time, would annihilate him with a blow from the dragon leaving no tree trace of Gogeta. He really is Kakarot, as his power continues to rise in an incredible way. Kakarot would come out of a planet, expelling an unreal power. So much was the expulsion of his power that, on this occasion, everything around him seemed to tremble. But Goku, without any fear, would begin to approach Kakarot, which his aura radiated a fearsome fire. Both were face to face. Without mediating words, they began the last combat. That's right, what they didn't know was that the true and authentic father of the Saiyans was watching everything that happened. Even this one had fur all over her body, as well as a few signs all over her. That bastard who calls himself Kakarot! has pure evil in his heart. His counterpart is not able to do anything. I will have to intervene. The father of the Saiyans would continue to observe their incredible battle that was taking place. Kakarot in the moment was able to hit a big blow on Goku's stomach, but Goku without any pain connected a blow on Kakarot's chest, completely opening it. You're defeated. With an injury, you won't be able to fight again. Ha ha ha. It's a pity. Do you remember when you were able to dare me in the same way? We possess the gift of immortality. That's right, Kakarot's chest would completely regenerate. I told you, you won't be able to beat me. So you join me, and let's rule everything that's rightfully belonging to us. Kakarot was sent to fly with a blow, while Goku granted millions of blows to Kakarot, but no matter how much damage he did, he was not able to end his life. On the contrary, Kakarot would begin to get used to Goku's blows. It's time to go to the universe. His opposite party won't be able to do anything. Even I don't know that he was immortal. The Royal King of the Saiyans and the Father would begin to enter the multiverse of Xenosama, while Goku on this occasion was tortured really. I offer you a chance to rule by my side, but you turned it down. Now you'll die. Everyone else tried to come to his aid, as his screams were able to be heard by all the universes. But it was useless, as Kefura would stand in front of everyone else. I'm the second king of all. I self-destruct, but I take you with me, damn it. Bellion, with his great speed, would take Kefura, starting to channel all his power to destroy himself. But Kefura, without any compassion, was able to create a small explosion, which for Bellion was deadly. He won't be able to do anything against us. But when everything seemed lost, that's right, the powerful Emperor Ozaru would make his appearance, cutting off even the air of everyone present. That's right, with the simple fact of being on the spot, he was able to subdue Kakarot and Kefura. What the hell is this? Who are you? I am the true father of the Saiyans, and I've come all this way to end your pathetic life. I'd rather seal you, so that your counterpart does not share your fate. So the real Emperor Zaru did exist. That existence, as if it were a game, would seal Kakarot and Kefura again while with a simple snap of his fingers was able to make everything return to normal, even reviving all the fallen warriors on the battlefield. But he hadn't finished anything yet, since Kakarot wouldn't let himself be sealed so easily.
The mighty Kakarot, despite using all his power, it was useless for him to fight against the powerful seal of the first Supreme Saiyan of all existence. It will be almost impossible for that warrior named Kakarot to be able to get out, but from his hateful look, I'm sure he won't give up, so they'd better train. Are you sure? Since they were previously sealed in the same way, the mistake was that their seal was linked to ours. Exactly, since it is impossible to contain warriors of that scale of power. For that reason, they must have agreed to seal to a much weaker one. That means sooner or later those damn bastards will be able to get out of that dimension. It's very likely, but as with any label, there's always a margin of error, and we can't rule it out. Meanwhile, in the seal or dimension, Kakra was very upset because he considered himself the most powerful warrior of all that exists. However, he was not able to do absolutely anything against that subject. I can't believe that guy's power is so great that I'm even able to be completely bent. I have to get out of this damn place. Kakarot, what are we going to do? It's just you and me. All our other allies have fallen on the battlefield. We won't be able to do anything against those miserable. There's one last alternative, although it is the thing I at least want to do. So we better train. That bastard not being able to compress the seal, he was able to leave us a big space to be able to train. Kakarot, I'm sure that when we leave this place and you talk to all the gods of the divine world, they will understand and we'll be able to live in one of the 12 universes or even create our own. Kakarot's power would be completely skyrocketed because his anger has been notorious. You're asking me to live with the bastards who betrayed me and almost killed me. I'm planning to put an end to those damn garbage. I'm really sorry, but seriously, I wish there were no more fights between all of us. But I'll understand if it's not what you want. I never, ever plan to live with those bastards. I'm sure I'll be able to get out of this place and beat the shit out of that bastard who calls himself the first original Saiyan. Returning to the outside, Mayuki would begin to collect a great energy in the palm of his hands. But although the cadet's power was gigantic, it did not cause any havoc for any universe. Mayuki-sama, what are you planning to do? The power that you're channeling in all your energy veins is incredible. You won't be able to bear it. It's an incredible burden. Bellion, us being the completely original kings, we weren't able to do anything. So I'll plan to bring all the universes back to normal, even if I lose my life. The value of that little queen at all is amazing. I like her point of view, so I won't let her die. Mayuki would expel a great golden colored light all over the outside, with which he was able to even bring to every planet and universe, including all living beings which understood absolutely nothing. Die! What happened? Since the end of the Tournament of Power, I don't remember absolutely anything. I just know that my friend Goku's power increased in an incredible way. Great Zeno-sama, we regret to inform you that your best friend... The Guardians weren't able to finish their sentence because when they observed Goku, they launched themselves against him. And as Goku was very weakened by his battle against Kakarot, he received several death attacks. Receive this, Divine Punisher! The combined attack of both Guardians generated a powerful explosion all over the place, which left everyone present surprised. However, in front of everyone, Akuma was able to stop all that incredible power. It's impossible. If they fought us to life again, I thought they'd already finished with this bastard. This can't be! How is it possible that Akumo, the destroyer god of Universe 18, and the most powerful of all gods is in front of me? Akuma would make a bow to the great Xenosama. Great Xenosama, I implore you to forgive all the other offenses that this server has committed towards you, as I didn't behave up to. Both guardians were amazed, because they never thought to observe a warrior like Akumo humble himself to apologize to the great Xenosama. I never thought that the most powerful rebel god is able to bow down to the great Xenosama. What happened in our absence? The warrior who was almost beat to death was the savior of everything you know. You're right, because of him we were freed, but thanks to him we were able to finish with beings that even overwhelmed us with powers. Guardians, and little Zen, you are my successors, so you should not be afraid. Akuma was a great help in this great battle, and even thanks to him I was able to survive. If what Mayuki-sama informs me is correct, I've nothing to deny against Yamoshi. 
I will restore his universe myself. Don't worry about that, Zen, as I have taken the trouble to restore the entire universe of Akuma and Jesse myself. Don't worry about my Mayuki, as I plan to stay close to Goku, to be able to become much more powerful. But although everything seems peaceful, this is still not over yet, because those bastards still possess great power, and if they're able to free themselves, we'll be lost. Goku, we've never had limits, so I'm sure we'll be able to break each of our limits again. <laughs> I want to have a battle with you, Akumo, because after you released all your power, I feel like every vein of energy has been able to expand in an incredible way. <laughs> I don't want to end your life in one fell swoop, as you're just scum to me. But while everyone was talking all over the space, the presence of a powerful first original Saiyan could be observed. Warriors, they have about two weeks to become powerful, as that'll be the time I'll be able to retrain these warriors. I don't know for what reason they have been able to triple their power. This is bad, but apparently I'll have one last chance. I caused this, I think, to end this damn nightmare. Returning to that seal, we could observe as the power of Kakarot and Kifura has risen in an amazing way. But although they had tripled their power, it wasn't enough to be able to leave that powerful seer. Kakarot, I'm sorry. I feel like I've reached my limit and we haven't been able to do anything against this damn label. I agree with you, Kifura. Apparently, only one of the two will be able to get us out of this hell alive. And for your bad luck, that I think will be me. Kifura, being off guard, would be bound by multiple golden energy rays while these extracted their power little by little. I'm sorry, but this is not enough. Divine Rapture Saiyan! Kakarot's powerful technique would increase his power as well as his pain due to thick chains coiled all over Kifura's body, while large amounts of blood drained from his entire body. Kakarot, you bastard! I thought you loved me! I'm not gonna let you keep my power. I'll self-destruct! Of course I love you, my Kefura. You are the one who saved me. But most of all, I love myself, and I can't afford to die in this damn place. Kakarot, with much more powerful energy, would collide with the energy of Kefura, was able to neutralize it completely, because the power of Kakarot was much more superior to the power of Kefura. After spending a few days in the seal, Kakarot was able to take over all the power of Kefura. Even though this power was mine not able to be compared, the power increase I was able to possess thanks to Kifura's power was incredible. Kakarot being able to expel all his power would quickly remember all the battle he had with his counterpart. No, no I can't be impulsive, since that's what led me to defeat last time. I have to control all this power and finish those bastards. Kakarot would begin to train every part of his body, every muscle, to be able to maintain great speed. Meanwhile, every god, angel, and warrior were equivalently receiving a rigorous training not to fall before the power of Kakarot. This time, I want to be the one to end that damn murder myself. I'm not going to let him get away with it. My lady, I don't know why, but I have this very bad feeling, even though the mighty god Saiyan informed us that in two weeks Kakarot would return. I agree with you, Bellion. It's been about three months since there's no news, and this piece is too strange. I'm sure that wretch is planning something, and it's something very dangerous, because for him to have given no trace of his existence, it means that it requires a lot of time and power. Are you sure about everything you're saying, Kakarot? I think that you're just overthinking, because when we were sealed, we fell into an eternal sleep. I'm sure of what I'm telling you, Jesse, since he's telling me, and I'd never give up on a damn seal. I know I'd do anything to break it. Returning to Yosko's seal, little by little, it was able to crack completely, while Kakarot's silver hair could be observed even within the dimension. <laughs> Finally, the day I leave this damn stamp has arrived. I plan to blow it to pieces with my next energy extortation. This is too strange, since that warrior's power is not increased in the slightest. Will he fall into eternal sleep? But a big explosion would occur all over the place where Yosko was, suffering great damage because the extortation of the seal would also explode, coming out as if there were rays of energies against Yosko, which despite releasing his pressure was able to completely overcome himself. While from all the smoke of that big explosion, the powerful Kakarot could be seen, who was walking through the entire castle of Yosko. Long time no see, damn for Saiyan. It's a pity though, that on this occasion I'm even able to sweep the floor with you. 
Kakarot would grant him a powerful blow, sending him to a planet, destroying it with a simple impact. While Kakarot walks even above the air, since his simple pressure was capable of creating steps of compressed energy. I never thought I'd be able to have those deplorable conditions on the warrior who calls himself the original Saiyan. Kakarot would start carrying a small sphere of energy in the palm of his hand, but to his surprise, Goku was able to reach the battlefield. Five minutes before... What's the big explosion? Damn it, so that bastard finally shows his face. This will be the day he puts an end to his evil. Apparently he's back. It would be better to go finish with this right now. All the warriors of the Divine World were able to feel that powerful explosion, but the instant they wanted to enter, they were supposed to be by a powerful energy barrier. What's this supposed to be? Were we not able to pass through this energy? I recognize this energy. Goku, please don't do this to us. Don't do what I'm thinking, Goku. There are more ways. I appreciate the time I spend with each of you, but I can't find any other way. So today, I'm going to put an end to this once and for all. Goku would leave quickly while everyone else released huge amounts of energy without being able to do absolutely anything. Goku had come up against Kakarot, prostrating himself in front of the same. Kakarot, you don't even know how long I've been waiting for this day. The day I'll finally be able to put an end to your evil. <laughs> Maybe you'll be able to do it by yourself. That's impossible since the previous time you weren't able to do anything between all of you. What do you think you could do on your own? Ha ha ha! I'm the only capable of ending your miserable life, as I intend to end the life of an immortal once and for all. Goku, as if it, he were a lightning bolt, would get behind Kakarot, while the Omni's marks would appear on every part of his body. And with his incredible physical strength, he's able to subdue Kakarot. Just hugging me won't be able to finish me, you stupid. It's pity that you plan to die with you. We both would be blown to pieces. I wanted you to know that to be able to endure and regenerate after an explosion of my maximum power. Kakarot's gaze would change to one of terror, but it was too late, since Goku's eternal energy was at its limit. That's right, at the moment a gigantic explosion could be observed by all the universes. Even in that explosion, the Hakai energy had combined, while both disappeared in that powerful flash, Goku's barrier had completely disappeared. Damn Goku, you never let me help. This is sick of being a burden. The warrior's son Goku proved his power until the end of time. We'll make a big statue in his name, while each of the original kings were able to help recover each of Yosuko's energy. The courage of that warrior possessed is incredible. Even I'll help in the construction of his statue. A great statue would be created in the center of the 12 universes in reverence to the warrior who saved every existing being from his counterpart called Kakarot. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time. Thank you.